In this step-by-step -step Procreate tutorial, I will show you how to draw Luma from Super Mario Galaxy game. Please download the free tutorial files via the link in the video description. And if you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. Luma characters come in a variety of different colors and have different abilities to help Mario and Luigi on their adventures. Today we will draw an orange one. So I've prepared this color palette and a few brushes for the background details. You can get all these files free of charge on the link under this video. If you enjoy my free brushes and YouTube tutorials, please consider joining me on Patreon, where you will find tens of premium brush sets and in-depth Procreate tutorials. It is also linked below the video. Without further ado, let's start drawing. I've gone ahead and created a canvas with the dimensions of 2000 by 2500 pixels. Before we start drawing, let's change the background color from white into black. For that I'm going to the background color, then to the color disk and double tapping at the bottom of it. This way we will get pure black. Now we can pick the base color from the palette, it'll be number 2. And from the list of calligraphy brushes, I'm going to select monoline. It is a standard Procreate brush that works great for creating outlines. I just changed a few settings in stabilization. I increased the streamline, stabilization and motion filtering. So even if you don't feel very confident in drawing smooth lines or your hands are shaking, these features should help. Now we can set the brush size to 20%. And if you have minimum size set to none in properties, you'll get same thickness as mine. We need to draw a raindrop-like shape for the Luma's body. So let me start from the left side and draw it like this. Then I will draw on the right side, connect it at the bottom and fill. To adjust the shape we can use liquify tool. That is set to push. I will make it a bit wider on the right side. And maybe more flat at the bottom. So I will push it up. This way. And now I am satisfied with it. We can create another layer. And place it underneath. Here we will draw the arms and the legs. They will look like rounded triangles. Let me start with the first one. And draw it this way. Then we need to connect it. And drag the color inside. Let me also adjust it by pushing. I will make the tip sharper and also a bit wider at the bottom. Like this. Now let's draw a similar shape on the opposite side. Here I will start from the lower edge and go up like this. We also need to connect the invisible part and then fill. I think this one is fine. Maybe I will just push it a bit down. Like this. Now we can draw the legs too. I will start from this edge, right from the body, go down. Let's connect these two tips. And after that fill it. Then draw a similar shape on the left side as well. It'll go down this way. And after that up. I'm connecting it. And fill in. Now that we have all the shapes, we can draw the eyes. And to do that I will create a layer on top of all layers. After that pick the color right from the background. It'll be black. Let me draw an oval on the left side first. And then on the right. If you wait a second, it'll get perfect. So now we can fill both shapes. To adjust them, 
I will be using Liquify. Just push a little on top and at the bottom. It may be on the side as well. Ok, now they are ready. We can add more details. This time we need to pick white color. And we can do that on the color disk as well. By double tapping here. Next we need to create a new layer above this one. And clip it. To keep the color inside. To add the light reflections inside the eyes. Let's go to airbrush in section. And select medium airbrush. The size is set to 12%. And I will draw the first oval inside the left eye. Let's make it not too big. Then draw another one on the right eye. Also close to the left edge. After that I will go to adjustments. And pick Bloom. If you start sliding to the right side with the pencil, you will see this glow, even if Bloom is still at 0%. To tweak the intensity, we can change size and burn. So let me lower the size to around 27% and burn to 32%. Now it is fine. I am deselecting it. And after that creating a layer between these two. It is getting clipped right away. On this layer, I want to add some shading on the edges of the eyes. For that I am going to change the brush to soft brush from the same set. Make the size low at around 4% and start making strokes around the edges. On the left side of this eye. Go down and highlight it like this. Let's do the same on this eye. Here I will apply it on the left side. Then go up on the edge. And to the right. Then go slightly down. Let me adjust this one. And maybe make another stroke inside. It will be more highlighted. Let me try to make it similar here, but not so intense. And now both eyes are ready. We can merge all the layers for them. And start working on the shading. So first I will create a layer right above the body. And we also need to apply clipping mask. Here I am going to use soft brush as well. To be honest, I rarely use soft brush for shading, as I prefer texture brushes, but in this case, I want to start with a soft brush and after we apply all the colors, in the end I will show you a way to add the texture to the entire drawing, so make sure to watch the video till the end in order not to miss anything. And if you are enjoying the process so far, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. We already have the layer created, so we need to pick the first color. For that I am going to the color palette and selecting the color number 3 as we use the second color as the base color. We need to increase the brush size. Make it big enough. So here around 17% will work. I will start applying it with low pressure. Let's press more at the bottom. And also here on top part. Then select the next color, make another stroke here, slightly in the middle and also at the bottom on the sides. Gradually go up. I am keeping these two parts highlighted. But later we will work on it even more. 
We can now switch to the next color that is number 5. And apply it again. I barely press on the pencil. So it is getting very soft. We can go up a little on the sides. Then also try to make a stroke on top of the shape. And then select the last color. It will be number 6. With this color, I will make strokes right at the bottom. To make it almost red. I think it is actually dark orange. Now let's grab a razor and also set it to soft brush. The size is set to 5% and I will start erasing this edge to reveal the highlight. Let's erase it on this part with low pressure. Then I will increase the size a little bit and work on this side. Make a stroke at the bottom, then lower the size again and press more. Let's do the same on the opposite side. It needs to be highlighted as well. So let me press even more here and at the lower edge. Now we can make the size very small and start erasing the small part. Then it will go down, so I increase the size a little bit and I will continue making strokes on this edge. If you now remove this part, we will see the edges better so we can adjust them even more. So our droplet will get more volume. This part is not finished yet. So I will select color number 5. Lower the brush size. And darken this part. But I will still keep the light edge. So the size needs to be very low. Now let me grab the second color, which was our base, and make a thin line on this edge. So it will get volume as well. Let's consider this part ready. And now work on the arms and on the legs. So let's make a new layer above this one. And also clip it. We need to select a color darker than the base one. So it will be number 3. This way we will build the shading gradually, making it darker with every step. Let me just lower the brush size a little bit. I think around 9% and I will start applying it like this. On the lower side and a little bit on top. Now we can grab a darker shade, number 4. And continue making strokes, but closer to the edge. Finally, let's select the fifth color. 
draw like this, go upper and transition to the right. I will add a shadow like this that comes from the body. After we did that, we can grab a razor. It is already set to soft brush. We just need to adjust the size. So let's set it to around 4% and start erasing the edge to reveal the highlight. I will paint gradually going down on the lower edge. And then press a bit more. Let's also go upper. And make a stroke here on top. This way we are getting volume. Let's now lower the size. And also erase the part on the tip. To make it even more highlighted. We can actually make it even lighter if we select the first color. It is our lightest shade. I will just paint like this. In the middle of the area. After this part is ready, we can shade the second arm. Let me also start with the third color. Make a stroke around the arm. And make it a bit wider at the bottom. Then switch to the fourth color. And add another stroke. Like this. Also go up. Finally we can select the fifth color. And also add it on the arm. On all sides of it. Let me remove it from here for now. And then I will start adjustments with the eraser. Let's erase this edge. And make a line at the bottom. Because it is also highlighted. We can try to erase this part in the middle. Especially close to the tip. And add the lightest color here. Like this. So it will be the most highlighted part. Now when the arms are ready, let's proceed to the legs. And I will do it in a similar way. But I think we can skip the third color and start right with the fourth one. Because the legs will be darker. We could continue working on the same layer. Or better create another one between these two. So we can use eraser in case something goes wrong. The size is set to 7% here. And I will start applying the color. On this leg first. Mostly inside it. And also this way. We can actually paint them all. Because later we will erase the edges. Let's now switch to the fifth color. Maybe increase the brush size a little bit. 
you start painting like this. On the right side of this leg. And on the left side of this one. Finally, we can select the last color, number 6. And darken this part inside. Also create a cast shadow. Let's do the same with this leg. So we need to paint on the inner side and go slightly upper for the shadow. Finally, let's grab a razor. Set its size to 4% and start erasing the edge. First this one, then also here, might make it thinner. Let's do the same on this one. And erase it on the left edge to reveal the highlight. Now the legs are ready too. Before adding the texture, we can work on the background. So I'll go ahead and merge all the layers for the star. Then duplicate Luma, go to this one and recolor it. Let's first select the color, that will be number 5. Alpha lock the layer and then click fill layer. Now we need to unlock it to apply Gaussian blur. But before that I will also change the layers blending mode. Let's set it to pin light. Next I will go to adjustments, select Gaussian blur and slide to the right side. until we get this reddish glow around Luma. I will just lower the opacity a little bit. Let's say it around 78% and also add some smaller stars. So let me create a new layer right above this one and select color number 3. In the Luma set there is a star brush. I'm going to select it and start making strokes. Adjusting the size so we can get bigger and smaller stars. I will just make a few more strokes. And after that in the layers, set the mode to add. Now I will go to adjustments and select Gaussian Blur. Let me slide to the right side to around 2%. Then I'll just duplicate the layer and we will get the shine. To add a few more stars, I will create one more layer and set it to add mode right away. Let's now select this stamp. We can set it around 4% and tap a few times. Maybe some of them can be even bigger. I will add another one somewhere here and also another one at the bottom. We can try to blur them a little. And also duplicate. So it is like double add. Now we can finally apply the texture. So I'm creating a layer on top of all layers, going back to the color disk to select white color. Then I'm selecting this paper brush that is from my paper spec and we need to apply it on the canvas like this.
Now I will set it to overlay mode and duplicate. We will get this cool sandy texture. And after this final step, our Luma drawing is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!